Two days after Governor Kim Reynolds announced her school choice plan, Iowans packed into a public meeting at the Capitol to speak both for and against this proposal. The measure would set up education savings accounts to be used on private school. Local 5's Mary Sugden was in the meeting, joins us live from the State House uh, with what this looked like. Yes, Stephanie, I got to this Senate subcommittee meeting about 40 minutes before it was slated to begin, and already there were no seats in the subcommittee room. Now, for about an hour and a half, we've heard from Iowans both for and against, really ping-ponging back and forth. And here's just some of their words from that hour and a half long meeting. I will form two lines at the door and out into the hall. Can everybody on the hall hear me? No, not everyone can. We will form two lines at the door out into the hall, one pro, one con. This is $7,500 that could be used to purchase supplies, train teachers, hire school counselors, or go on field trips, make schools safer, or any number of the things that benefit all students in the district. School choice didn't kill public schools in Indiana. It reduced private school enrollment and caused more parents to choose their public schools. Scores went up parents had more power. There are over 200 districts, many of them rural, for whom there is not a single student that would be able to get to a private school. So it, our, our rural schools were concerned. I feel that parents should have their choice of education wholly. It should not be limited by zip code or income. And it's more about creating opportunities. I have a lot of family in rural Iowa. With how many schools have shut down, how much rural consolidation there's been, 10 years from now, is public school even going to be an option? It's, it's like fingers on a chalkboard is when I hear public money for public schools only. We do not do that with Medicaid. We do not force Medicaid recipients to only go to a government hospital or a government doctor. Now, Republican Senators Amy Sinclair, Ken Rosenboom, and Brad Zahn ultimately signed off on this going into the next phase. That basically means it's going to move out of the subcommittee to the full Senate Committee on Education. The two no's on that were Democrats uh, Molly Donahue and Herman Qu uh, Quornback. They did not sign off on this moving to that next stage. There's still quite a lot of debate for this piece of legislation as it moves through the Senate. Live at the State House, Mary Sugden, Local 5 News, we are Iowa.